Hello! I'm going to show you how to connect the Super Switch to the iPad or iPad 2. And to do this, you're going to need either a smaller switch, the red switch, or a plug like this to take the place of the red switch. Because what you're going to have to do is plug this into the left port before you turn the switch on. When that's plugged in, then you can power on by holding the button down until it changes color from green to red. Let that boot. And while this is booting, we can go into settings. It's under general. Here's Bluetooth. So make sure that's turned on. And then it may or may not be discovered here, depending on if you've had it connected before and uh, what state it's in. If it doesn't show up, then you need to make it discoverable by holding this down until it blinks fast, red and green. So when that happens, I can take my finger off the button and it should show up. It says keyboard. Now it says air turn. So it recognized as an air turn and that is exactly what it is. To, let me make this a little bit closer for you. So it's an air, tor air turn and it says not paired. To pair it, select it and then it will do its magic. should say connected and then the Bluetooth icon up in the corner here will become bold. There it goes. Okay, so now we need to test it. Make sure that we're in the right mode. So I'm going into Notes and inside of Notes I'm going to press this and it shows up as a squiggle one. Hopefully you can see that. That's a squiggle one. And right now the red switch is in is in the left port, so it's also a squiggle one. Now if I put the red switch into the right port, it'll turn into a squiggle three. So that is a squiggle three. Okay, so we're configured properly. Squiggle one, it's actually a tilde, tilde one and tilde three for the two switches. Now I'm going into a lexicon. And I've got scanning, row column turned on. It's in auto scan mode right now, so it will automatically scan I'm in uh, row column. And it's just going through because I selected that row. I'm thirsty. And then I select a cell by hitting it again. That's auto scan. Now to show step scan, turn step scan on. And now, I have to use the red button to advance, the yellow one to select this row, and now I'm selecting with the red or advancing. I'm thirsty. And then the yellow one comes in. And that's it. Now to turn this off, just hold down the red button until it changes color. It will power down. And when your Bluetooth drops out, you'll lose the Bluetooth icon in the upper corner and a keyboard will pop up. That's how you know that the Bluetooth is no longer connected. That's it.